So how's the field of maybe vented destination to be well, from the mansion? The I will tell you. I've been here a long time. And it's still awesome. I mean, no bigger event of the year than destination. Anything we do that we think is so awesome, it's just ten times more awesome. Nothing else like it. Once a year. You pump, get pumped up for it all year. Ain't nothing else you can get ready for than destination. So yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah, I'm ready for it too. But the main thing I'm ready for is to keep slipping my ass all up and down the spring. Well, how does it make you feel? Mixed emotions, mixed emotions. Because he's lucky that him being his first year here, he's even getting the headline. I mean. That is true, you are a rookie. This is your first season and your headline destination. Of course, that one. It's that good. Do you think you're deserving of it? Yes. Because not only once, but twice, I have made split knot, crying agony, in the sand. Good point. Why do you think you're deserving the headline and be the fat way that you are? Well, I've been after her for so long, and back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just the best there is. That's just plain and simple. We do have some fans. I mean, yeah, I mean, all the rest of these guys who act like big shots, who really don't know a thing about it, I mean, they come out here, they can talk all the trash they want. That don't bother me. What it all comes down to is what goes on over there. That's what counts. I mean, sure, we can sit here. Alec can sit here and call me anything he wants to. He can sit here and call me a dirty piece of crap. And I can do the same thing to him. The only thing that matters is a destination. Him going to have the embarrassment of a lifetime when he's laying flat of his back looking up and see Slipknot and hear the Slipknot's music playing. And hearing the announcer say, still, that way champion, Slipknot, he won't know what to say. I mean, yeah. you don't know what I say to that? I say, that little cookie puss of a Slipknot, <laughs> I'm going to put you through a table, I'm going to make you bleed, I'm going to make you suffer. Just like a delicate. Let me tell you a thing or two. I've bled, I've suffered. The things you can't imagine. I headlined one of the first destinations. Probably the first. The first. The first, probably. And this is what? Which one? Second? Uh, and uh, let's just say, I've seen a lot and I've done a lot. 
that you don't know. Uh, let me ask you a question, Slipknot. How would it feel to get power bombed and you crying and have to get taken out of there? Well, I did what I had to do. Because I felt that... Crying they, like a little bitch don't count. Because I felt that if they didn't drag me out, your guts and brains would be all over that cell and it wouldn't be blood for it would be a crime scene. What's the matter? Here, What's the buddy? matter? You had a loss for words? <laughs> no, that's just looking at you, you makes me a loss for words. You just shut your mouth. All right? There's no one in this business that... There's only a handful of people that maybe has been halfway deserving of this. Other than me and Ray Ray. Certainly not you. Just so you know, I beat the champ, such as yourself, and I made the previous champ tap out. So, tell me how you think you're going to beat me, even though I made you cry twice, and I made one of these... Now tell me, you say you made me cry twice. When was the first time? The first time was my first match whenever I was trying to pull you away from the, the corner. You made me scream. I did not cry. Scream... And cry two different things. Or maybe you're just that dumb that you have to, you get cry and scream mixed up. I mean, you may be that dumb. I don't know. You may be a loony for all I know. I may be sitting across the table from a dadgum retard. I mean, you may go home. <laughs> you may do that. I don't know. I mean, personally, I go home and I laugh at all the pain I've caused. I laugh. Just that pure little fact. As of July the 5th, you were going to enter Hell's Gate. I will kick your Alley ass. Alley Cat, I've been there so many times. I've been to Hell's Gate and I've been back. I've been at the edge. I've been almost tipped all over the edge and came back. Well, you better get a good look, man, because you're talking to Satan himself. Well... I ain't one to underestimate a person. I mean, sure, your power bombs, I mean, yeah, that last one is still okay, it hurt. I will admit that. I mean, Slipknot, he ain't some, he won't come out here and act like it didn't hurt, because you can plainly see in that match it did. But if you remember, let me just think of all the stuff I've done. First ever Royal Rumble, I was in. The first ever steel cage match I was in. He has been here since the very beginning. Three time fat weight. Three time fat weight. We're still looking to earn that first fat weight, yo. Think you can do it? Best I have all the yeah. experience in the world that you don't have. Beginner's luck, maybe. <laughs> I need more than beginner's luck. Other such things. Beginner's luck and brute strength. I can pick you up like It's eight called Brute falling flat of your ass on the ground. The only person that is in DCW that is taking me down. Only Ray Ray and Bigger Brands, the only people that ever took me down in DCW. You have not taken me down. You might have almost took we me down. We had two. Wait. We had your first match, the triple threat in the cage, and a ladder match. That's the only matches. We've had, besides that tag team match at the last event, them were the only matches you've had. Oh, but you That's see what five I matches. You see what I did to Ray Ray, though? I pushed him You off pushed him ladder. off the top of a ladder. Big deal. I do that in my sleep. And you're going to be having a nightmare because I will kick your ass. I will throw you off a TV onto a table. I will throw you off a building onto a table. I will throw you into a table just by pure happiness. First of all, I'm not sure how you can throw somebody through a table pure heavy. That may be you and your infinite retardation mind. I don't know. That may be possible. I don't know. Maybe you use the force or something. I don't know. But anyway, all I know is whatever little world you live in, Slipknot's going to bring you back to reality. All you got to think, I'm just going to say a few words just to... 
Because I'm, I mean, I don't even really know why you want this so bad in their rookie year. I mean, quite personally, I've just seen a lot of rookies who they was lucky to even get a, a number one contendership spot for a title, let alone a title match. At destination. At destination. Main event. How many people has manhandled other than bigger brand the way I did you and Ray? Manhandle me? Yes, like actually pick you up and throw you like I did. Well, I don't weigh the mo much that much, so most people can pick me up easily. But whether or not I have got picked up, and I have, and whether or not I have been slammed down flat on my back, which I have, that doesn't matter. All that, all the past experience we can sit here, blabber on about for hours on end, none of that matters. Because at destination, fighting me is going to be like walking naked through a sea of fire, which is basically what you're going to be doing. So, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you other than you're just going to get beat. That's just plain and simple. That's the only way it can end. That's the only way it will end. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for the uh, press conference. But, any last words? Listen here, you, you just sit your hand down. down. You ain't. You see this? This is going to be coming home with Alley Cat. I guarantee you. I will kick your ass any day. We're into an alley, tra alley trash can or something? <laughs> Dude, you don't even know. I'm in hell on earth. You're going to be walking through when it come destination. That's all I can say. Well, thank you guys for coming. And, uh... Tell me something, good man. Why did you set me across from the tail from this field? I mean, the stink here is so bad. I'm getting out of here. I'm taking my belt and I'm leaving. That's it.